In this video, we're going to create an amazing looking flyer inspired by WhatsApp. And hopefully you guys are going to use it on your WhatsApp statuses or social media anywhere. But let's jump in and do this. Welcome content creators and entrepreneurs to African Multi Design a channel dedicated in bringing you tips, tool reviews, as well as tutorials. My name is Anele, and if you're joining us as a subscriber, I'm so happy you're here with us today, welcome. And if it's your very first time, and you're meeting me for the very first time, welcome to the channel, we are excited to have you here. Because we believe that creativity is intelligence, having fun. Today we're going to have so much fun. Usually we start with Canva and we move over to Photopea or all these other websites. Today we're going to be adventurous and we're going to be exciting and we're going to be using Photopea first and then we're going to move over to Canva. How awesome is that? So how we're going to do this, we're going to use a 3D mockup that we've downloaded from the freepick.com where you can download all sorts of free mockups that you can use to show your designs to your customers and show them what you're capable and how awesome you are. Um, we're, we're going to use one of the mockups we've downloaded there as part of our inspiration with our creativity because we're so intelligent. We're going to do amazing things. We're going to start by um, uploading the mockup and then we're going to convert the mockup into a photo we're going to take that photo, plant it to Canva, and then design our flyer. That's how creative we are today. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to find your mock-up wherever you've saved it. So I'm going to use the WhatsApp-inspired mock-up that I found. I thought, okay, there's a lot of um, WhatsApp countries. There's a lot of us that use WhatsApp in all of our countries. Most of us, I don't know, you let me know in the comments below if you if you use whatsapp but when people see the nice looking design with 3d and you've put your product and you've put amazing looking things it should um, attract them to buy your brand and interact with you and do great business with you that's why i thought let's go whatsapp today but we can do all sorts of things you must put in the comments and let me know what you'd like to see anyway so we've loaded the 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 mock-up and it looks like this now we're going to hide the text so you're going to click on the eye to hide the text and that's basically all we need once it has um, hidden the text we just want to export this then we would click on file and then export as a png and then we say save and then it would save the file as a png you could rename the file by the way um, if you wanted to but for now i'm happy with the file it has saved we're done with photo P. we're going to jump to canva and we're going to start our design so we're going to be designing a flyer and we're going to design a landscape today um if you would like us to do a vertical one let me know in the comments below then we can do one but for today you click on create a design and then you're going to find this uh, flyer landscape and with this um, centimeters that we would like to design today and it looks like this and then once it has loaded you're going to click on your uploads or you could just drag your file straight to canva like that and it would upload to your canvas and then you can start designing as you can see it also takes it through to your um, upload media and then it loads it there and then your picture is there and once you're done let me make this a little bit big for all of us to see you click and you hold and you drag the, the picture so that it fills the whole canva and then you can start designing your file so if you can look at the side of this picture there's a little bit of space here that i would like to use so what I'm going to do, I'm going to click and I'm going to crop this file and move it to uh, the side so that I can have more space for us to add the, the pictures, to add the prices 
and to add the the logo and so on so instead of misusing this empty space on the side i'm just going to move it so that we have more space on the what is this hand on the left hand side where we're going to work and we can add information on our fly and that is step one so the next step would be for us to start loading the logo uh try to load a logo that's transparent to keep the beautiful design of this mock-up that we're using as our template so you would have loaded it on your uploads you're going to go to your uploads and you're going to find the logo that you've um, you're designing for your customer you would load the logo we are doing one for zinker's bakes then we're going to crop it so that it uses less space and we crop it like that going to click on done once we're done then we're going to move it to the top of the page and we're going to make it a little bit big like that and step number two is done the next thing that you're going to do you're going to go to your elements and then you're going to look for the grids the round grids that we're going to be using to add the cakes that Zintle bakes to display them on her flyer so you're going to go to elements, you're going to scroll down to frames and you're going to click on see all. We're looking for that nice looking frame that has a round white shape around it. So you're going to scroll down until you find that grid that has the white round with it, like this one. So you just click on it once and then you size it to the size that you want. So you're going to add three of these grids so if you've sized it and you're happy with your size then let me just make it a little bit small so that it fits up until the bottom of the page then you're going to control c to copy and you're going to paste it so you're going to paste to the second one and then you're going to control c you're going to paste the third one so that they are aligned and they look just like that then the next, you're going to go back to your uploads and you're going to go find where you've uploaded your products so that you can fill them in on the grids that you've um, added on your design. So because this is a fictitious client that we have, I'm going to go to my elements and I'm going to go to cakes that are on Canva and I'm going to just click and drag the cakes that I will find there as part of our tutorial today. And then you click and you drag and you load the third one if you want to move it around all you do is you click on the picture you click on crop and then you can move it and size it to wherever you want it to display on the actual grids that you've loaded for you yourself if you don't like the um, color around the grid because it has picked up green you just click on it once and you change the color to whatever can, color you want. I don't like the green, I want white. So I'm gonna click and highlight and change the green back to white. So the next step would be for us to add a pricing as well as the kind of cakes that she adds. So all you do there, you press T to add text and then you start adding text for her cookies. So I'm going to continue with the font that looks and feels like her brand and i'm going to add the pricing for her and um i'm going to fast forward the video and once i'm done i'm going to call you back to do the last bit where we add the whatsapp number in bold as a call to action when people see this on the whatsapp then they know that they must order these beautiful cakes or whatever product that you guys sell so let me quickly do that I'll, I'll catch you up just now welcome back right we've added our pricing so you could there's a little bit of space up here there's a space below so you can add as much as you can the more the more you give customers your prices the better that they don't ask you how much things are so the whole point of a flyer is to give enough information without cluttering your design and that takes care of our pricing the last thing that you would do is to press t to add 
your text where you are sending people or you're calling them out for action when they look it up on the customer's whatsapp or on your business's whatsapp status they should know what to do when they see that yes like this person bakes beautiful cakes now they want to order so you you're creating a call to action for them so that they can call you and then order and then you can make lots of money and you are a successful business owner or a designer if you're a designer so now you're going to add your um, call to action to say what they must do and we will change it to that so maybe you can make it a little bit bigger to utilize the space that we have over there and that takes care of the whole design and it's done so all you do now is you click on your download and if you're going to print it you're going to use pdf if you're going to use social media to advertise you would png or jpeg and then you would download it and then it would be downloaded on your downloads and you can share with everybody and it looks like this i hope you enjoyed our creative session today if you have add a comment for me below i do enjoy our time together i will see you on the next video if you are a subscriber if you're not and i'm adding value please consider subscribing i'll see you on the next video